but they're going to be really awesome. They can be really helpful, and especially if you sort of keep them like in that range. So before I even get started, I'm just going to like do something where I line it up. I want to center it one more time, so that way my trimming is even too. So I'll try to get it like visually as close to center, and with these rings, I can kind of like sort of gauge it, and then I'm going to like finger gun right, and I'm going to keep that nice and stable here. I'm going to spin it ever so slightly. And wherever it pushes against my finger more, like if it pushes right here, I'm just going to like scoot it just a little bit. Little movements here are going to be key. Because if I try to move it like a lot, then it's definitely going to be off center. Because like if it's pretty close to center already, it's only going to take like little adjustments. And sometimes it won't be perfect. And that's just like if you manage to throw the cup off off center, which, oh my gosh, well, how could that happen? It's very, it happens all the time. Um, so sometimes, it won't be perfect. Just get it as close as possible. So from here, I'm going to take my clay of the same body, um, a little drier, but not like so dry. And I'm going to just roll out a little coil, get a little nugget, and put my hand pretty firmly down here, do the same to the other side. Because if I keep this straight and I push this down, because like if I didn't do that, sometimes it'll just scoop. We don't want it to scoop. We just got it. We just got it where we want it to be. So. Sometimes you only need two if you're like an expert. I have not reached that level of expert yet. I know a guy who doesn't do this at all, and he just puts a bottle cap right here and just trims around the bottle cap. And I'm like, I just I don't have that kind of confidence. So, <laughs> so just lug it down because ideally we want to spin it without it flying off the wheel. All right. So first things first, before we even touch the center part, we want to make sure we get like all this cruddy stuff on the side as straight as possible. So I'll take my trimming tool right here and the kicker here is keep your hand as steady as possible so if you need to hold your ha both hands together hold both hands together because <sighs> this is about like learning what your limits are so if your cup is dry like mine is just a little bit dry on the top it might start to wobble a little bit if you hear it start to go to thump to thump to thump ever so slightly stop your wheel put your legs back down because it's trying to fly off so this looks pretty nice, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So you've got to think about like um, what kind of foot you want for your for your piece. Do you want something narrow? Do you want something straight up and down? For this one, I just want like a straight up and down foot, something nothing crazy. So what I'm going to do from there is you can use the round side, or I like to use just the corner of this angled guy. So just like for throwing, when you open, you're going to start right at the center, as close as you, as you possibly can, and then you're going to ooh, you see how it's doing that? Ooh, okay. So if your clay is too dry, it will wobble back and forth. So if you, it is doing that, stop what you're doing and lug it back down. Because if you try to keep going, what's going to happen is it's going to fly off and it's going to do the dance of shame. And it'll hit every corner of the, 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 the splash pan and you'll just be really sad. So trying to pay attention to your surroundings. And using the narrowest point to take your material off, is always the best idea. So I'll always do just one, one pull all the way across. Because on these, I don't know if you can kind of see it. I've got where I, because I take off my, my piece off with a feather. There's kind of like a little, little ledge. Um, and I just want this to be like flat. So I will just go ahead and do one quick pull and just very steady, steady, steady. Don't go fast if you're scared. I don't want you to ruin your piece. And just bring it to the edge as much as possible okay next so it looks pretty level that's nice and then you've got like a like a like a liquid like level you can just pop that right on top and double check it some people are real precise i don't i just hope for the best so from here i'm going to open a little bit and make the depth part for my foot i know i've got about this much material maybe not that much so i want to make sure i don't go past that point because what i will happen is i will end up with a planter if you end up with a planter, that's okay. Clean it up. It still counts as a cylinder. Just make sure that hole is nice and neat. Okay? It doesn't have to be a cup, but we want a cup. We're aiming for a cup. So I'll use the most narrow point of my of my trimming tool, and I will try to go as far to the edge as I think I reasonably can. I think I can probably go a little, a little, little farther. I'm going to go one more time. But if it starts to wobble, 
don't push it. Work within your boundaries, because if you push it, it's going to fly off. Like, I can just about guarantee it every time. And just like with throwing, if you're left-handed, you're going to go this way. If you're right-handed, you're going to come to 5 o'clock. So you're either working 7 o'clock or you're working 5 o'clock. These are your strong points. Because if I try to pull it this way, like, this is, this is not comfortable for my arms, first of all, but, like, suddenly it's not stable. We're just going to go one more time. Woo! Thanks, Greg. All right. Pop it back down. Redo your lugs. I'll run my finger here. So from here, I want to, like, really focus on the edge. Speedy quick. Speedy quick. Speedy quick. Okay. If you pull it off and it keeps coming off anyway, that's not too bad. I don't hate that. I'm going to call it a day <laughs> on this one. But I think if I go any further... I am going to lose it, you know. So, this one, I threw a little uneven. Notice it's not, like, this side is a little wonkier than this side. It's a little higher up. How do you, how do you trim something like that? That's the kicker. Um, so, if it's particularly uneven, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure, I always, like, tuck this underneath my, like, stomach, because, you know, it's a hand. Go ahead and just... Center it as much as possible. Okay, so I'm going to just right in that spot where, so if this side's higher, this is the side I need to pay attention to. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to put a little lot of play right underneath it, and then I can sort of push it, but that's going to like almost level it out for me. But see, that's not bad. That's not bad. I can, I mean, I work with that. And down, and it doesn't matter if you do it this way or this way, just sort of like work opposite ends. So if you put one here, put one on the other side. And make sure they stick, because sometimes if your bat has like all this like clay dust on it, it's like flour sometimes. It'll just peel right off. Um, And you can use like as much or as little play as you think you need. So first things first, I take the flat edge, and I'm going to just clean up that side. Now my hands are pretty steady because I've been doing this for a while. So I would recommend holding it with both hands because this is going to this is going to shake more than likely. And if you shake, and if it's shaking, you'll get something called chattering, and it'll look like. Um, like ridges a little bit. And sometimes that can be really attractive, but like if you're looking for a smooth surface, maybe it's not what you want. <laughs> like a cat. Reflexes, reflexes, reflexes. And so this is going to be perfect. And if you've got a pretty thin bottom, you can just, you know, do one real quick swipe over here and sort of just level out. And like if you don't feel comfortable or maybe it's too dry, may just make sure it sits flat on the table end of the day. Because that's what that's why we do this. We do this to make our cup sit flat and to make it not so heavy. So if we've got something that's a little thicker on the bottom, we need to take some of that material off. But if it's not so thick, just flat, and we want it to be level. And if we do this like gradually. Okay. What he does is he just pulls his little bottle cap here. Maybe that's my maybe that's the move. I just want to make it flat. And if you want to just do like a little design aesthetic where you just, you know, ever so slightly put a little spiral down in the bottom, that's totally fine. Just as long as it sits flat on the table. I really like to just hit it on the edge here and here because it's going to create this bevel. And I even, it even chattered a little bit. So if you want to pass this around, um, somebody can give a good idea of what that looks like. You can see how it's sort of like on that edge. It's a little bit like wavy. Um, that's for my hand shaking. So it was catching. And it can be like a really nice effect. There are tools that like purposely make that happen. But if that's not what you want, that's not what you want. That bevel, however, that little edge right up there can be really helpful when it comes to glazing. 
Um, it tells me where to stop when I'm when I'm glazing, and it'll give me a nice clean line to wipe off the bottom. So like if I were to wax, I would wax all the way up to that edge. Um, and we can when we get into glazing, we'll talk about wax a little more. But basically, end of the day, those will sit flat on the table. Is it heavy? No. Yes. We're good. Um, sometimes you throw a wonky cup. The reason I do this one is wonky is because there's a real hard chunk right here um, that's caused it to be a little wrinkly. So if you've got like a really hard piece in your clay, the trick is just power through it. Don't let it stop you. Just keep going and you'll have a finished piece. Um, most people, when they get to that point, will like stop and go, oh no, oh no, what do I do? You just gotta keep going, man. Sometimes it's just about the finish. All right. I wish these weren't so dry, and that's my thing. But they were super wet a minute ago. I'm going to try to show you a better foot here in a minute. That's pretty good. And it is very easy to go too far with trimming. It's so easy to go too far. So like your strength can sometimes be a good thing. Um, if you want a specific foot type, like if you want like that really thick sort of dramatic like modern foot, you have to throw your piece to accommodate that. And that would require a really thick bottom from the beginning. Um, this this cup will not accommodate that as much as I'd, you know, like to say it could. It is just a, I just threw right some regular schmegular cups. I threw these at like midnight last night. I'm probably gonna have cups for class, but I throw them in the morning and I'm gonna be dry enough. And now they're too dry. Okay. The first thing's first, take off the side hookers. Um, if I'm feeling confident, I'll go all the way up and down. Because sometimes you'll have like lumpy bits down at the side. Or maybe you want it just to be a little bit a little bit cleaner, um, or maybe you want to do something like aesthetic and just go whoosh, real fast like that and get like, if you do it like really dig in, you can get like a nice sort of like spiralized design. Maybe that's what you want. I don't know. That's up to you because y'all, these are your cups. I like to take off that extra bit first before I even like worry about the middle. So steady hands, steady hands from the center to five o'clock. And sometimes having a hand just to sort of like keep it down can be nice, but don't rely on this because sometimes this will mess you up even worse. But I am going to try to get that foot style that I'm looking for. So, yeah, that ain't happening. Okay. Not with these. End of the day. I can't go any further. Um, end of the day. Sit flat on the table, but not so heavy. Those are the goals I want you to shoot for. If you can do fancy, do fancy. Like, full heck, do fancy. But, like, let's just make it work, right? So let's try it with a bowl, hopefully. And sometimes it'll feel like it's going to take forever to get that in the middle. And maybe that's just because the bowl's not good. <laughs> Which might be exactly. Throwing at midnight after working all day is not something I recommend. For anybody. For anybody. Okay. 